It is a Christmas tradition here at Good Morning America to bring together a group of spiritual leaders to talk about the role of faith in our lives. Joining us today, then, the Archbishop of Baltimore, William Laurie, mm -hmm. uh, Jeannie Mayo, the youth and young adult pastor at Victory World Church and president of YouthLeadersCoach.com. Also, Miles McPherson, former San Diego Charger and L.A. Rams draftee, also <laughs> the head pastor and founder of The Rock Church. And good morning to you all. Uh, so much to speak about, uh, especially right now now in this country and the role that faith plays and how we rely on it, I think, in times of great need. Uh, the, just days ago, tragedy struck. In fact, a town very near and dear to your heart, Archbishop, uh, the town of Newtown, Connecticut, actually a part of your former diocese. Until a few months ago, I was uh, the bishop there. I visited Newtown many times. I know that congregation well. Uh, the news struck home in a very deep and, and personal way. Um, when you know the community and you know um, some of the people, I probably confirmed some of the siblings of those children. The pastor there, Monsignor Weiss, and the two priests are my former colleagues. And so you really feel what they're going through. I, I, I've, had, I've had a lot of people ask me on Twitter, actually, people pointing out that in these times, people do tend to turn to God and to faith, and, and it becomes a bedrock. What are you, what are your congregations saying about this, and what are you telling them? Well, you know what? Hurt is significant, mm -hmm. uh, fear, significant, but to say, hey, God's promises really are like the stars at night. They shine brightest when it's darkest, and so when you have faith, then the person who has a significant uh, why can bear up under almost any what that comes. Yeah, I think it breaks God's heart that it takes something like this Absolutely. to get us to pray, to get us to go to church, to get us to talk about Him. Mm -hmm. And you know, kids are learning more about commandos, killer commandos on videos right. than God's commandments. And, and I think God would tell us if we would ask Him directly, you know, God would tell us, listen, I want you to teach my kids about prayer before this happens. I want you to teach them about my commandments before this happens, and maybe it wouldn't happen, and you'd be better prepared for it. It, it inspired a great deal of fear, and I know a lot of parents wondering how to talk to their kids, but really, it came at the end of a rather adverse year, I think it's fair to say. There, there were many instances uh, where the headlines might have uh, evoked a certain fear. What do you, how do you deal again with, with adverse times that seem at, at times to have no end? Mm. You know, I, I think number one, uh, we come together, uh, we rely on the Lord, but we also come together as a community to pray. When we're in difficult times, we need each other. Uh, if you're unemployed, if you don't have the necessities of life, if you're, if you have troubles in the family, um, the Lord wants us to be connected to Him, but through Him to one another. That's what church is about. That's what community is about. Solidarity is about. And that's what we also do to uh, contribute to our larger society, is by modeling what this sense of oneness and solidarity in the Lord is all about. I, and I think, you know, we've had terrible things, especially here in, with Hurricane Sandy and the economy. But I think if our perspective is to please God and not to please ourselves, and we're not living to be happy but to be holy, mm -hmm. we have a different perspective when, when unfortunate things happen. They, they're really opportunities for us to help someone. They're opportunities for us to grow closer to the Lord. The reason people get angry is because we don't get what we want. You know, we, we lust mm -hmm. and we desire for things we want, and we don't get it, so we get frustrated. But if all we want is to please God and obey God, which is the number one commandment, then when things happen in our life, we'll say, okay, God, how do I respond to this, and how do I draw closer to you from? It's a very different world as well. Uh, very quickly, I want to ask you, Archbishop, it's a year that the Pope actually joined Twitter. Uh, social media certainly impacting, I think, the role of faith in our lives. You were actually in Rome when I, this happened. I, I was there. I saw him do it. And uh, the role of the social media is so important. For example, in the Archdiocese of Baltimore, uh, we're using the social media to reach out to the folks in Newtown. Uh, we're having everybody in the Archdiocese to offer prayers, mm -hmm. and they're coming in on our, through our social media, and we're communicating that up to the folks in Newtown, yeah. just as a way of, it really can bring people together. It's got its downside, 
but we can also use it for the gospel. The collective love and yeah. outpouring of it on Twitter uh, certainly important. Thank you so much. It is a wonderful tradition. It's great to have all of you here. We really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. And happy holidays to you all. Thank you.